Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be teaching you how to do the big range stat in cube defense. Now this strat is a solo medium strat. Uh, now cube defense isn't that popular. So anybody will know this game, but if you're struggling at soloing medium mode, then uh, this one will be for you. So the towers required. Um, submarine, campfire, and mortar. Now, these ones are expensive. Yeah, yeah. But since the codes will give you enough money to buy these two towers, then, yeah. The level that you will need is level 15 because submarine requires them. I know there's another strat that you need to level under 15, but don't really need those ones because I know because those towers are a bit hard to manage and you really have to replace the tower towers. So submarine also has a very big range, so probably to keep a lot of in range. That's why submarine is so good because it's range, it's damage. It's so I'm gonna be continuing with the strat. I'm gonna use stat in that. Yeah. All right. So guys, we are now in the map. You have to at least have a lot of water. What you do first is to place your submarine anywhere. I really recommend you put it near here because the campfires will help you out with the range. With the bigger maps, you don't need campfire, but submarine has a lot of map coverage, but it, it isn't really the big okay, right now we can yeah, about that um I sit like here on the junk because you'll make this big mistake you will place the motors here ha ah, you hope. Best because, like, these uh, this is medium mode. When you get radar installment, you'll have tons of rain. You will you have to deal with this for a while. You get radar coverage, you get uh, this much range, good, but this is not the maximum you get of this thing. So, delete some of the these two go by now. You place another song. Firstly, you could put it all the way here, but since I made a big mistake, I put it. Most towers in this game, most tower, the submarine won't really get stunned. Minion mode doesn't have a lot of things that are stunned. It's be such a stun towers, such a big deal. Those two will go by, uh, but good campfire will give us some help. Now, by so many people that are pros, if they're watching this video, they're probably going to be mad. I'm not really using best strat, but since uh, cube defense does change and a lot of updates happen to it, then of course some things are going to change. Even the motor change, and it's expensive, but it more does more damage. It has a burning ability. So yeah, of course it's gonna change. The old medium strats that include the motor won't really be necessary anymore. There, as we get advanced intel, range is so crazy. Like, just look at this, bro. This is like whole map coverage at this point, and they do it does a lot of damage. You have to get it to advanced intel so you could get a lot of range. What I recommend you to do is to keep placing some burns. I don't really do that because I want to save up my money to just get advanced intel. After you get advanced intel, just put so many submarines, like put four of them, and upgrade those and put another four and upgrade those to that. Yeah, we have a boss, Granite Boss. Now this one a bit harder than the other boss. From uh we believe. I don't know. 
got really right. Just uh, this. Just wait until you get radar installment. I mean, it, it, that's what's all. I mean, I won't really be. This is just a random game. I just figured could be good. Cause this 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 is one of the. Alright, we got advanced to tell on the other one. It can't really attack her, but at the max level, it will attack. And even if we upgrade this one, it will go all the way here. Uh, so, <coughs> you'll have lead cubes coming, even though they're not cubes. As you can see, it has explosive range. When you get these to max, they have a lot of range. Full map coverage. So this is where Rush can. But if you have these guys do a lot of directed splash damage. It it will. I mean, it does five damage splash, but it is worth it. Small enemies. When earlier waves where rushes, then. Depends on the mode. If you're like on a chaos or hard, of course the rushes, the later rounds will be harder. Medium, it's not like that. So that's why you need the splash tower with you to just like take off the health early. So these guys will probably if you don't have advanced intel by this wave. If you're playing this with multiple people, you'll kind of struggle. On because these guys have a hundred, and they're kind of fast. They're average. Higher than average. Now we just put more submarines. Submarines. Upgrade them. We put the rest of them. Now after this, we'll put a cap bar to uh, decrease the range a little bit. I put cap bar not only just for the range up price upgrade, so so I don't have to as much money. On the I, I say submarines is submarine, but it's submarines, I think. Yeah, it's submarine. Uh, okay, I, sorry guys. Don't call me. I really mix up between those two. Now, lead cube boss, this one is very help. Uh, we shredded him. That was a, that one really call it a shred, just kill him. There's no audio because for some reason it can't detect. It can only hear me, so there is music in the video. I mean, there was music in the back. The volume is all the way down because I it's kind of pointless for me to hear it, but you know, just crazy music. There isn't really something about it. Now these fast cubes uh, will kill because they're basically they're not the worst. But what I hate about them is that they make you target them, not the other ones that have health and health. So right now, problem here. See, we have tons of enemies. Okay, after this, we're gonna add the campfire. The campfire won't like buff all of these, so you have to put it as close as you can, most even spot. Of course, these. We put two campfires, so it will kind of help. So here we go. We got them all advanced in. Okay. Now we just uh, wait until we for a campfire. If this one, this strat does not require frag solo and medium. On hard, you need a factory to get the money. Or you need like rail. Rail guns are kind of expensive. It cost five thousand coins. And Sixteen. The rail minigun kind of sucks, though. Don't do it. So this is the most even spot. Could buff. Technically, not all of them, but yeah, it, it could buff guys in the front line. I don't know. It, it has
So this guy gets more range at max. Avatar. So this thing dies in a jiffy. Right? I jiffy. I don't know what jiffy means, but I've just heard it. Up. Okay, now we got the range upgrade where we can actually. That's a big range of upgrade. We have full map coverage. But you really. It's up there. You can't really shoot them at the beginning. So hidden. And hidden bosses are the easiest thing to do in this game. You can't reach this guy. You don't really spend too much. This guy will get. Alright, so now we just upgrade these guys. Guys. 75 range. Just upgrade these guys and just have to wait until the last level. But we could put the motors as well. That's the strat. The, I forgot to tell you that the motors are optional. So if you want to kill the boss a little faster, then get the motors. Since they're in the strat, we're just going to be using it. So since you have the cab fire, you'll upgrade these guys faster because you make it. The upgrade is more cheaper. A 10% upgrade cost. Uh, I know that sounds very bad, but it does take uh, it does take a little bit of money out of your bills. You know what? I mean? So you can upgrade your towers fast. When you don't have campfire. You won't really be upgrading your towers as fast. Get these things as fast as we can. So right now it's very calm without uh, the, the spam of bosses, but level 21 is the one you have to look out for if you have very bad direct damage. We're playing medium with slow fire rate towers, high damage towers. You're probably gonna go through this wave very fast. But since submarines have a good fire rate, they, they have a lot of range, and uh, they have good fire rate, good range, and uh, good damage. I don't know what you could get better than the submarine. Yeah, don't get the battleship because the range is blue. Get the submarine. It's good. For on longer range maps, this thing is a beast. Just with the range. when you upgrade this thing to max, it does forty five damage every one point. Let me just say it's kind of specific. I might stutter. Woke up. Go and I'm kind of tired. Voice. I don't know. I can't really think of the words to say anymore. Stuttering. I don't know what to say. Yeah. So. So. Uh, the. I'll stop with explosions. The uh, jilted lead boss is the highest health and like in the like medium room medium part of the round, middle of the round like when you're halfway through the round you get this guy and this guy is super easy to destroy as you can see we just killed him right here upgrade all of these good attacks Right, there's a ton, tons of bosses on this one. Wave 24 has a lot of these, so splash damage will come in this one. Since this guy didn't like, this guy's in range of campfire, he has a big, like, look at this difference. That's a big difference. I thought the difference wasn't big. Why did I not upgrade this guy? This is now even. Uneven. I bet after this we have enough money. So upgrade all of these. Now, I don't recommend you submarine if you're a guy that just wants to finish the game. This thing is a beast in hard mode as well. But it won't beast in the later rounds. And high 
uh, high health cubes and even the last boss the last boss is so pain because he heals himself at you almost kill him you have to be as fast as you can with so this will probably be the most annoying you face in this this guy is just fast and he has a lot of health too how we have upgraded most of the submarines to if you have the Paragon, you could finish this in two seconds, but I don't have it because it's kind of expensive. And I don't have that much coin in my pocket. Okay. Uh, now we upgraded all. Well, not all of them. Almost there. There you go. Now we get to the process of putting motors. Just upgrade them to max now. These guys are very cool. Also, when you upgrade them, you get a bigger range. That's why you need to put Sit place two. You said you have six of these. What I do that I do a full scroll. Put an extra. So this one will so got the BFM. This BFM is kind of it shoots four. You know the old motor sh like it was shooting three uh motor shells. It had a better fire rate though. It had more damage. But this one also has a fire effect. The the other motor didn't have a fire. The old motor, I missed it so much. It was so cheap. It was only 630. Kind of weird that these... Why these guys? Because these guys shoot, like, fire. They have, like, shells that are... I don't know how they're getting on fire. Even, but they even made out of fire. Yeah, these guys. These guys do 120 total. Or time three. Right now we're getting we're getting spammed at this point. I don't really see anything chaotic now. They're not even reaching me here, here. But some like yeah yeah they're not even here. It's, they're just dying. I almost jinxed myself. Yeah, every time I jinx myself, I kind of don't like it. Oh, myself. Idiot. I, yeah, these guys are, bet, like, these guys will just get killed in a day. Yeah. Yeah, that's satisfying to me. Maybe we just need one more. Just off. But if you have other towers in your inventory, then just put them down. But don't put the ones that are like just pointless, like the bubble tower or yeah, just have mixed with bad towers. Then just don't, okay? Kind of make you spend money on something. But since the, you have two bot, you have to deal with two bosses one in wave three, which is up, and wave six, of course. Wave for the 33, I believe it has the Obsidian boss, which has 35,000 health. But if you kill the Obsidian boss, like over here, if you're on this map, then you're probably ready for it. So if you kill one boss in this map, uh, in this uh, game mode, then you're gonna win this game mode. So now we have everything. Wait. Just not wait. Now we wave 33 has come, so the obsidian boss has 31,000 31, at 500. I kind of forgot because I recently played medium mode two days ago. Really, kind of forgot. 
I've played this game in like 20... 2020, I believe. Yeah, I'm kind of a... not. A, I'm not an OG, because this game was much older than I thought, but... I've played this game since I came back with like all the tower changes. Of course, I forgot some things. Towers, the towers names is the the new motor. The new motor looks so cool, by the way. Not like the other motor where it doesn't look real anymore. This one is kind of realistic. About that, I probably would jinx myself because we probably kill him right since we just killed him. So what I personally like to do is to put a campfire here and put my mountain mounted miniguns here. I, I I just use these guys to do a little bit of extra damage when they come. Because wasting towers isn't good. So I just usually just put as much good stuff as possible. Now because when you reach like almost reach the end you'll get a lot of money. Since I have a hotkey, I'm just I, I just press E to upgrade it. It, 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 it. It's just con this. Yeah, this guy has a good range. So since the boss will probably reach here or something, there's no way he's gonna reach like here and die because that's a This is where you get spammed with these ice cubes which are very slow, but they have a lot of health. These guys are very annoying. But because like if you have towers with low DPS, but they have like a good damage. DPS stands for damage per second, which is by the name second depends on the fire rate. So probably the motor here is like ten damage per second or something. That's per second. I, I don't. I don't. So yeah, the damage is high. Damage per second is. Alright, here we go, guys. We're at wave 36. This is where it kind of goes crazy, but we'll be fine because we have a lot of good range towers and a lot of good damage. You won't really be dead. You also get spammed by these stupid ice cubes, but you won't get spammed like, to the level you can't handle the spam anymore. As you can see, we just annihilated those guys in two minutes. So cool that the motors shoot high. Cool because they have a longer two. They also have a paragon, but I can't because I don't have any paragon. You can see the blue ice king has spawned, and uh, this is my favorite boss model. Of every boss, because it it's so cool. It has shurikens flying around. It has a cool looking crown, and it has this on his. That's the least detailed part because, yeah, but it kind of makes it look better. Alright, since you have a lot of splash towers, like the submarine and motor, you probably do with the enemies behind the boss. You know you're damaging this guy. He has 50,000 health, and these guys aren't even in the ring. Yeah, put mountain minigunners when you need to. This is where he becomes faster. He'll heal himself, by the way. So, so when you get some marine, you... Definitely solo me because he healed himself. But since uh, we have submarines with whole map coverage, we won't really have to worry. With gonna probably die anyway. All right, so he's dead. That was so super fast, by the way. Here and here, 
normal people without the strat would probably be like if they yo like over here not like there i'm not like saying right we won victory that was a very easy one i didn't really have to do anything so what's so good about the strat is that you barely have to put any effort to be on to put submarines upgrade them to max that's all you would it's on medium so you get a lot of gold with it as well so yeah so guys if you enjoyed this video click the like button subscribe to the channel do anything really you want i don't really care uh what oh, oh. Shut up. problem bro okay uh yeah so yeah i hope this strat helped you because this strat uh kind of made it up with my I don't really, I really realize submarine with the damage and with the range combined becomes a very good tower. So, yeah, it, this, if you don't have submarine, I think you can't really beat this. But if you can beat it, but you have to, like, it's such a hassle because you have to sell those towers and place it somewhere else. It's, it's just something, you know what, it's kind of annoying. So, yeah. Enjoy this video. Like I said. Uh, goodbye, everybody. I know I don't make too much videos. I kind of sound like I don't care, but because I'm tired. That's I don't. I'm, I'm, bye.